Welcome to the text platform when we, where we discuss various matters on text. On today's episode, we are going to be talking on vet penalties. And of course, I'm not alone. I'm with a text expert or a text consultant. We used to be around now. Welcome to the show, Sam. Thank you, Brooke. Yeah. Like I said, we are talking on VET, uh, known also as a value-added tax, and we're going to be discussing in depth about what it entails and go on and talk about the penalties that come with not complying with uh, VAT regulations. So, say, can you take us through what uh, VAT is or value-added tax? Yes. Um, in, in simple terms, VAT, value-added tax, is it's a tax uh, that is charged um, on consumers when they buy goods or get uh, services. Uh, if, if you buy food from a supermarket, mm-hmm. uh, they'll charge you VAT on some goods. If you're getting a service um, from someone else, whether you're servicing a car, photography services, they'll charge you uh, VAT. They are registered for, for VAT. So basically, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tax charged on you consuming those goods or consuming those services. Oh, okay. So I'm hearing you're talking about consumers. Do we have specific who's, who's or people who are really supposed to be registering for VAT? Yes. Um, so those who are required to, to register for VAT are businesses because they, they collect the tax on behalf of government from the consumers. So, but uh, the threshold is one million. Uh, in terms of the turnover, the sales that you make. So if you are are a business, uh, whether you are running that business as an individual or a company Mm -hmm. or whatever form, uh, you will have to register for VAT if your turnover is uh, 1 million bula in a 12 months period. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if it's from January to December and you have reached 1 million bula or you anticipate that you are going to reach 1 million, then you can register for VAT. There's also voluntary, that one is mandatory registration. There's also voluntary registration where if you've reached 500,000 pula in a 12 months period, you can approach them to say, I want to register for, for VAT. So okay. those are the two requirements if you want to register for VAT. But the one million is mandatory, whether you are doing it as an individual or a company. Okay. So what are the consequences for not registering if you are eligible? Yes. Um, so, if, if you are eligible and you do not register, and then somehow best get to discover that you had reached 1 million or over 1 million and you did not register, there's going to be a penalty of 200% of the tax that was supposed to be payable. So, if uh, you are supposed to have, been, to have paid 120,000 or maybe 1.2 million in VAT, the penalty will be 2.4 million. Mm-hmm. So, basically, you will be paying around 300% mm-hmm. in VAT while you were supposed to have only paid 1.2 million. So that's why it's important that when you reach uh, that 1 million threshold, as soon as you discover that you have reached the 1 million, you register to avoid such consequences. Because imagine paying 200, 200% penalties, uh, literally your, your business can be closed because it can affect your cash flow and even the going concern of the business that you are not able to survive from those penalties. And also this issue of, of interest on that uh, tax that you would have uh, supposed to pay at that time when you were eligible to to pay or to, to charge VAT. So it's at 1.5% compounded monthly. And it can also be uh, more than the tax liability. It's not limited to the VAT that you should have collected. So if you have, if you have collected 1.2 million and it's for a lot of years, can end up paying around six million or even more, mm-hmm. though the liability was only one point two million. So that's why there's a need to avoid these penalties and ensure that you register as and when you are required to register. Okay. Apart from that penalty on failure to register, are there any other penalties associated with value added tax? Yes. Uh, so if um, you are a registered uh, entity for VAT or you are registered business for VAT and you do not submit returns. Uh, okay, there are various penalties that can apply. First, uh, if the return is a refund or is a meal return, then the penalty is 5,000. I know that uh, a lot of people, whenever they register businesses, they get excited, uh, they register for taxes, and then they don't then submit returns because they are saying, no, I'm not operating, so there's no need to, 
submit the returns. But regardless of whether you are operating or not, you should always uh, submit the returns. So if they are needed, you have not submitted, it should be 5,000 pula per return. But then if you are registered and you are operating, it's always the, the grade of 10% of the liability that is payable or 50 pula per day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, then there is all, there's also interest. Interest if there is late payment, it will be one point five percent of whatever liability you are supposed to have paid to bears. Okay, great. This is great. I think information that a lot of people really should have access to. So yes. thank you very much. This was the tax platform on discussing VAT or value added tax and its penalties. So for more information about what we've just talked about or more on matters of tax, you can check out our social media platforms on Facebook or Twitter at the tax platform or subscribe to our YouTube channel at Tumeloran Now. This is the tax platform informing nations or the nation on tax matters. Thank you and see you in the next episode.